Hi there, this is John Otero, and I want to welcome you once again to Refuge, our safe place of hope and motivation. Well, it looks like, yeah, you got that. (laughs) Our little Chow Chow is back. He wants to welcome you, and looks like, yes, here we have (laughs) our little Pandy. The both of them are welcoming you back and invite you to take our next journey, which is expectation. Expectation brings about a certain confidence and we receive most everything in life because of our expectation. Expectation is a driving force, which when properly harnessed can be utilized to help direct our life to reaching our goals and our destiny. I want us to imagine the ship leaving the safety of its harbor. Without a map and compass, it's quite assured that the ship will not reach any destination at all. It may even become shipwrecked. (laughs) The same applies to you and me. We are like a ship leaving the safety of our harbor and heading out towards the sea of our destiny. Now, my compass and yours, my map and yours, they are our guiding instruments to help us know exactly where we are and even more importantly, (laughs) where we are going. Without these vital instruments, we are apt to never reach our destination as well. Today, I want us to look at one of these instruments. But before we do, I want to delve into the wonderful world of model making. But briefly, I promised in our last video that we would look at model making and my funny car. This is what models look like before they're made. And this is what they look like after a little bit of patience, some paint, and of course, model cement. These are the finished product. And I really, really like my funny cars. (laughs) Life is so very full of color. So I seek to transfer this color and this excitement into each and every one of my models. But now back to our exciting subject, expectation. You and I live our daily lives operating within the context of expectation without even giving it really a thought. A good example is this. What do you expect when you sit on a chair? Seriously, (laughs) well, you're expecting that the chair will support your weight and not collapse. Ever think about that? How about when you turn the key to the ignition of our cars? Can you imagine doing that without expecting the engine to start? How about waiting patiently in the doctor's office without that magic ingredient, expectation? One other example I'd like to give is this. Would you go to work tomorrow if you did not expect a paycheck? (laughs) Totally ridiculous, isn't it? But that is how we take the gift of expectation for granted sometimes. You and I work within the framework of expectation on a moment-by-moment basis without really giving it much thought. Just imagine for a moment driving down the street The red light turns green. Would you drive if you did not expect the oncoming traffic to stop and give you the right of way? (laughs) I don't think you'd be driving, and I know I wouldn't. We have all learned to operate within the framework of expectation. Webster's Dictionary describes expectation this way. It's the act or state of expecting. It really is anticipation. Expecting what is to happen. Something expected. It goes on further to state that the basis of expectance is assurance. Now the word expectation comes from the Latin word meaning an awaiting. Awaiting. What are you awaiting? Expectation, when realized and acted upon, brings about confidence, assurance, and 
success. How can we best use this most wonderful gift of expectation? I have a few suggestions. First, we must cultivate a positive and powerful expectation for ourselves. What do we expect from ourselves? Do we see ourselves as successful? Are we giving life our all, our very best? With every new endeavor, we are to strive for excellence. These are ways in which we can optimally work our expectation. An attitude that is extremely important is one that propels you and I forward in any endeavor we undertake with the mindset that no matter how it may turn out, we will know in our hearts that we have given it our best shot. Now, dear one, remember this, please. You and I may fall many times in our attempt towards success, but failure is not failure until we stop trying. Secondly, the next important thing I wish to share is that it's really important to consider that most people are inherently good. They, just like you and I, are aspiring to reach their goals and dreams as well. And they too, yes, it's true, experience times of failure. They too are on the road to success. They want to achieve great things and make a real difference in this world. You see, dear one, most people are really great. <laughs> it is vital that we connect with positive and uplifting people. And you and I will do well to surround ourselves with others who are on the road to self-development as well, pursuing their dreams. If you do not presently have that support, I encourage you, just go and seek it. Network with others who will help build you up and believe in you. This will do wonders for your self-esteem, confidence, and success. Positive and nurturing people help you reach the best quality of life that you deserve. <laughs> Supportive people are everywhere. We just need to seek them out. Remember, seek and you will find. Now, our third instrument in optimizing our expectation is to expect that positive things will happen in our lives. You and I must have an outlook that expects the best from life. You see, we are growing daily and we are experiencing, we are experiencing abundance coming to us from every direction. Abundance in health, Abundance in, oh, finances. Abundance in just pure happiness and joy of life. These are the things we have been discussing in our past videos. We do live in abundance. Now, I do wish to let you know that persistence will pay off for you and I. So work hard, be diligent, and keep believing in yourself. Knock on those doors of opportunity when they come and see the tremendous results. You can and you will do this. Good things are now, at this very moment, making their way to you. Move on now and reach for your dreams. Reach for your rainbow. Believe in yourself because I believe in you. <laughs> Well, we have been once again to refuge, our happy place. And every time I meet here with you, I get a little happier. <laughs> Thank you. I have to remind us, breathe deeply. It's so important to breathe deeply and take in that fresh ocean air. I always enjoy your company. Thank you. Now, I want you to take good care of yourself, stay healthy, stay happy, and always remember, God loves you. And he thinks you're really quite cool. And so do I. 
God bless you. Ciao.